Now that we're in the final stretch of the 2023 SWAC football season, Grambling State still has a chance to possibly make it to the SWAC championship with some favors. We all know the East is already locked and loaded. FAMU will be there. What's up, HBCU Game Day family? It's your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James. And right now, we're down in Mobile, Alabama for the 2023 Port City Classic as the Gremlin State Tigers take on the Alabama State Hornets. Now, before we get to the football, shout out to the DJ. He played Goodbye Love by the group guy. Coach Thornton couldn't control himself. And it wasn't just Coach Thornton. Coach Hugh, he even had a couple lines. At the start of the 2023 season, both institutions had high expectations. Those expectations were to be in the SWAC championship. Neither team made it, but next year, I'm pretty sure everybody will be watching out for Gremlin State and Alabama State on the field. The ASU marching band came in full force, and we went to midfield for the coin toss. Damon Stewart got the start, but right here, number three comes up with a nice run from the quarterback position for the Hornets. ASU hands the ball off to Harris, number 26, and he comes around the corner and mushes number four smooth in the mouth who gets a big pickup. Staying with the ground game, Jawan Howell comes up with a nice run, but Gremlin State number seven, Tally, comes up with a big hit. Not wasting any time, Stewart hooks up with Keyshawn Johnson for a touchdown in the corner of the end zone. Alabama State goes up seven, nothing. Miles Crawley did not have the best showing against his former team, but right here, he hooks up with number 10 for a good game. After that, Crawley makes the mistake of locking in on the receiver, and number 11, Amon Scarbo, comes up with the interception. He had, uh, I believe, newcomer of the week after his performance in the Magic City Classic. Back on offense, Stewart finds Kashawn Johnson again. That boy, nice, he sprints down the sideline, Every time he caught the ball, he kind of, you know, muscled up on Grambling. I, I, you know, I ain't like that because I went to Grambling. Both teams struggled on the kicking game as well as ASU misses a field goal right here. But the Bama State defense has been that defense all season. They come up with a huge fumble recovery in the red zone. Then they turn right around and get a quick score to Keyshawn Johnson again. Alabama State goes up 14-0. Like I said, kicking was a problem. Gremlin misses their field goal right here. We went into halftime, Alabama State 14, Gremlin State 0. And at halftime, the Alabama State marching band came out and did their thing. And we also had a performance by legendary artist Cupid. Bubba Adams also checked in with his favorite cousin from Mississippi. Now you see the scoreboard. Let's finish it. And that's what they tried to do. Stewart loads up a dime to Keyshawn Johnson, but he's tripped up. Flag on the play. Grimmin doesn't think he's worthy of it, but Amon Scarborough's on the sideline, kind of, you know, antagonizing him like, yes, you did it. Flag, move the chains. Gremlin State running back Williams was not a factor today, but when he did do his thing, he did his thing. Not going away easily, Miles Crawley hooks up with Nashawn Dickerson to finally give Gremlin State his first touchdown of the other day. But like I said, kicking was a problem, so Gremlin ended up missing the extra point. The score is 17-6 in favor of Alabama State. And that was your final, Alabama State 17, Grambling State 6. You already know who it is, your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James, and you're watching HBCU Game Day.